Hello everybody, Ari here and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how you can add products to your Shopify store for either drop shipping or if you're just trying to build an online business in general. So first I'll show you how you can do that for a drop shipping store. It's super simple and I hate seeing people getting caught up in these details. So I figured I would make a video simplifying everything and making it easy for you and get your business up and running. So the first step here is going to be to start your Shopify store because you obviously will need a Shopify store to add Shopify products to. And luckily for you, we're official Shopify partners here. So you can use my link in the description to get a 14 day free trial. It'll be the first link. And then all we got to do is click create store. So now that we're on our Shopify store, I'm going to show you how you can add products in literally minutes. So first, you're going to go to this app right here, Oberlo. This is actually an app owned by Shopify. So Shopify bought Oberlo way back in the day because it allows you to not only import products to your store seamlessly, but also fulfill products. Some people say that Oberlo is not really used by dropshippers anymore, but that's not true. And this is why Shopify bought this app because they saw that a lot of people that are just trying to get their businesses started wanted to to use it so we created our new account and then we can just ignore all this stuff and what we want to do is just go straight to the import list now you used to have to download a chrome extension for this which was kind of annoying i hate downloading chrome extensions that i don't need it just clutters up my browser and I don't like it. So now you can just simply add products by URL. So what I've done here is I've gone to AliExpress and I found a product here that I want to import. So what it is, it's a really cool cigar lighter. It's a three jet blue flame torch, super high quality. As you can see, amazing reviews and it ships in seven days with USPS shipping. So very, very good product right here. And I've actually gone ahead and looked up on Google Trends, the search trend for this type of product and surprisingly, Cigar lighters are a super strong trend. I would have actually thought that cigars were kind of dying out, but apparently that's not the case at all. And this is why I really love using this Google Trends method to validate ideas and just make sure that you know, what I'm trying to sell is something that people are looking for. And just real quick, the way I found this product was actually extremely simple. So what I did is I just went on AliExpress. I went to the home and garden category. I just clicked the random category and I just clicked this little tab here and click the United States. So now it's showing me products that ship from the United States or that at least have fast shipping to the United States. So now what we're going to do is just click add the product with the URL. So super simple and then we'll change the name here to windproof jet blue flame cigar lighter so we want to use some of the keywords that aliexpress has on their description they definitely looked into the seo of these kinds of products so that's just a simple seo tip try to have some good keywords in your description then we'll just click the home collection here and then we'll go to the variants so we're actually going to click like basically none of these variants and we just want to go to the ones here that ship from the US. Okay, so unfortunately the ones with boxes are actually not available. So we're going to click the ones here with no box. Okay, so now that we've selected some variants that we want to add to our store, what we can do is we can simply come here to the price and change some of the prices. So this product right here is $11 plus $2 of shipping. So $13.50 just about. So if we want to really be successful with advertising this product, we're going to want to charge at least three times the price that we're getting it at now another strategy that you could use is charging a little bit less than that and then charging like five dollars for shipping that's another really good strategy to make the price look a little bit lower and we'll just get rid of the compare ad price and then one thing is you don't want to add a description here because unfortunately whenever you import a product through Oberlo it usually gets rid of the description and that's super annoying right if you spent all this time making this description and then it just gets rid of it that sucks so we don't want that to happen now we're not going to click these images that feature a box again you could feature a box but it's just going to be too expensive for us right now so we'll just use some of these images that don't have a box i really like this image so we'll probably use that as the header and that's it then we'll just click import to store and we'll just make it active right away since our store is still closed like nobody's running through our store right now and that's how you add a product for a drop shipping store so if we go to our store now and we go to products we can see this product right here front and center and yeah it just looks super cool we'll probably get rid of this image right here so just go back to the product description that you made and try to clean it up a bit here so you know we'll change some of these variants here redwood and then get rid of this one and boom so that's what we want to do here and then we want to get rid of this shipping variant here 
container ships from the United States. We don't need that. So as you can see, we got it imported to our store and this is using the Don theme. So, you know, you could fill out some of these tabs here on your own, you know, for example, the dimensions, your shipping policy and everything. So last thing I want to say about a drop shipping store is that a really good idea is once you determine a product that you want to sell, contact the supplier directly and then ask them if you can drop ship their product and maybe get a better deal. So start trying to build relationships with your suppliers. I'm telling you guys, if you just put in that extra little bit of work, that's how you're going to be able to build a better business than any of the people that are attempting to build a drop shipping store out here. Just by simply getting to know your suppliers, trying to negotiate better deals for a better margin, for faster shipping, for more customization. All of these things are really cool things that you can do. So next, let me show you how you can add a product for a non drop shipping store. It's actually even easier so we can just click add product here and what we want to do is go to something like alibaba or let's say you know a manufacturer in your local city that you made a deal with to start selling their products online but on alibaba what you can do which is super cool is go to trade shows for example and find some really cool unique products that nobody else is going to be selling because these are literally new products that they're featuring back in the day you used to have to go to live trade shows in order to see the newest latest products but nowadays since everything is more digitalized these suppliers are doing these trade shows online so there's always trade shows going on online that you can participate in and get some really cool products to sell so let's say we wanted to continue on this cigar niche just for example purposes obviously we have a really cool cigar case here that's genuine leather it looks really cool and you can actually order a really small average order quantity of it which is awesome so let's say you order 10 for a hundred dollars you could start your business that way and then try to sell them out really quickly the lead time here is extremely fast so for example here they take three days to ship them to you if you order one to 30 and again if you wanted to go the extra mile and you didn't want to order Order inventory you could contact the supplier and try to see if they would be willing to drop ship this stuff for you so what we're gonna do is just simply save some of these images and then we'll go back to our Shopify listing and simply add these images that we found and again since the shipping is so fast to you when you order stock you could actually try to sell these products before even having them in your hand so you could run a pre-order and once you start getting orders then you can order your product so if you're really low on funds that's definitely something you can do for cash flow and we'll call this genuine leather cigar case so that sounds pretty good to me and then what we're gonna do is set a price here so the price for something like this this is gonna cost us just about $11 per piece so we can do something like $35 I think that's a good price for something like this especially since it's genuine leather and then what we can do here is we can set the availability to 10 because that's how many we're gonna order and then what you want to do is set up the weight of the product so we can definitely find that information somewhere we're here it's 0.3 kilograms let's see how much that is in ounces so that's 10 ounces you can actually do kilograms so that's awesome so we'll just do 0.3 kilograms and we'll save then we'll just make this active and boom we just imported another product to our store so hopefully this video was helpful to you guys this is actually a video that's going in the netsphere library so if you don't know what netsphere is you can check it out in the description it's basically like a university but like a hundred times cheaper and with less commitment that's all i'm gonna say about it i'm not here to sell you anything but hope you you enjoyed this video if you did then i want you to give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more but that's all i got hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and i'll see you next time peace